Will I miss it? I don't know. Oh, check it out. The first time that's ever happened. Thank you for showing the carriage. Here we are. It was a joy. I loved it. It was great. Will I miss it? I don't know. But that's it. Woohoo! It's the last of it, guys. That's it. Right there. And, uh, it's kind of a continuation of that other video getting rid of junk, but I'm going to be taking this to the island with me. Um, yeah. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go straight to the island right now or if I'm gonna stop in Vancouver and stay there for a night. Um, obviously, this has gotta come out of here in order for me to spend the night there, but I'll just drop this off in one of the uh, the rooms at the yoga studio if I decide to do that. So I just have to make a couple calls first, but uh, to figure that part out, there's a little something I need to take care of in Vancouver. And, uh, yeah, once that's dealt with, I'm off to the island. So anyway, we are good. I'm gonna go give these guys their keys back and uh, that's it. These guys have been really nice to me over the years that I've been here. So if you're in Squamish and you need a storage locker, um, these folks are great. Lorraine, I think is the Lorena, she's the owner. And then there's two Sandys that work here too. But uh, yeah, really nice people. Oh, check it out. <clears throat> A big truck full of gas coming to fill up this gas station. <laughs> anyway, I'm all topped up. I got uh, diesel in my heater tank and I've got fuel in my van. Been really limiting my driving after I came back out of the mountains. I just stayed in town here and uh, now I'm gonna consume some gas and drive down to Vancouver. Well, I'm gonna do a little van building work actually coming up. So that's what that piece of plywood's for. I don't know when I'll do that guys, but uh, you'll have to wait and see. That is the first time that's ever happened, ever. And I was just talking to a friend about that today. He's like, this, this is the time you ever just drive straight on. I'm like, I don't think it's ever happened, but it, it's gonna happen at some point in time. And he's like, I don't know. Drive right on the ferry. This day is just like, everything's just opening up for me to go to the island. And when things work out like that, it's just like, it's meant to be. So, <clears throat> I'm pretty full up, you guys. <laughs> oh, man. I'm excited, though. I had to ride up top in the ferry boat and there was, uh, I, I wanted to stay in the van but this guy told me I couldn't stay in the van so I had to leave. But uh, in any case, um, <clears throat> we're almost there and pretty soon all this stuff is gonna be out of my van and I'm gonna have my house back in order back here. So I'm um, looking forward to that. I don't know exactly what's gonna happen next, you guys. I'm, I'm gonna go to Nick's place and then get all, all this stuff sort of kind of piled into his basement and start going through my stuff and all that sort of thing. And a lot of that, honestly, like I don't know how much of that I'm gonna share with you guys so I might do some other videos and talk about some other stuff while I'm doing all that stuff and uh, yeah and then eventually 
I'm gonna get some, uh, gotta do some, some van work, so that'll be coming up here soon too. I'm gonna do a little bit of work in my van in a couple areas, and I'm kind of looking forward to doing that, so that'll be neat. Um, yeah, I am. I'm really looking forward to doing that actually, so. Anyway, guys, that's it. I'm gonna tune into some stuff here. I got it all crammed in here. So I got my work cut out for me. I still need to go through all this. I would love to pare everything down so I don't have any more material. I want to use it up and have a very small little bin with the essentials in it for my sewing and then my two machines and keep that. And then in the future, whenever I do a project, I'll go get the material for that particular project, do it and be done with it. So. That way I'm not stockpiling material as I did in the past. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's easy to do it. I mean, when you sew clothes or you sew, have sewing projects, you go into a fabric store and you're like, wow, wow, this would be great for this. You get inspired when you go into those stores and you buy stuff that you hang on to for years and years and years before you even use it. And this same goes true for anything else that you enjoy doing. You go, you get inspired, you buy stuff. So anyway, I just don't want to have anything to do with that stuff anymore. I just want to pare down, pare down, pare down. And I'd like to get my two sewing machines, keep those, the essentials that go with it. Everything else goes. And I want to finish building out my van and I'll keep my tools, the essentials, that's it and uh, just pare it all down. The rest of it, adios. Yeah, guys, that's it. I'm gonna wrap this up today, right now, right here. We'll see you in the morning. Stay tuned for the next one, but I'm back at Nick's place, I'm on the island. And the idea for the next little phase here is, I'm not exactly sure, guys, but I'm gonna, it's gonna involve this, it's gonna involve the van, it's gonna involve kind of like hunkering down in a situation when all the gas stations are closed. I was in Victoria, I was noticed gas stations were closed on my way over here. So it's gonna be kind of a lean time for a little while. So we'll see what we'll see what happens. Be interesting. Anyway, that's it. Guys, we'll see you later. Bye for now. You ready? Yep. Whoop. <laughs> that was pretty quick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Mm-hmm.